Hi there. In this video, we'll be discussing a very important topic. But before we get started, I just wanted to remind you that at the end of the video, be sure to check out the comments section for a link to more information. Thanks for watching. Welcome to this video in which we will talk about air conditioning with R32 refrigerant gas. In recent years there has been an increase in demand for this type of air conditioning due to its energy efficiency and low environmental impact. Let's start by saying that R32 is not a replacement gas for R400 team at any equipment that is working, but should only be used in new equipment specially designed for this gas. The parts of an air conditioner that works with R32 refrigerant gas are the same as a conventional one, so we have In the indoor unit that is located inside the premises, 1. Evaporator Evapor 2. Evaporator turbine In the outdoor unit, which is located outside the premises, we have 3. Compressor 4. Capacitor 5. Condenser fan 6. Capillary 2 we also have the pipes that connect the outdoor and indoor unit. 7. Liquid line. 8. Steam line. The pressures of the refrigerant gas R32 are very similar to those of R400 Tina, so we have. But for an evaporator temperature of 5 degrees C, the pressure gauge on an R32 air conditioner should read about 129 psi. The high pressure of an air conditioner that works with R32 for an outdoor ambient temperature of 30 degrees C should mark close to 350 PSI. Now my colleague Francisco is going to explain some particularities of the R32 refrigerant gas. Let's start by saying that R32 is a pure HFC type refrigerant, with a low global warming potential index, and great efficiency in refrigeration power which has made it the refrigerant of choice for many manufacturers for their new equipment. Now let us study in detail the characteristics of the refrigerant R32. 1. R32 refrigerant is a refrigerant classified as actual L, slightly flammable, with a global warming of 675. 2. Refrigerant manufacturers have clearly stated that R32 refrigerant is not suitable for upgrading. 3. A system that was originally designed for R400 Tina will not have taken into account the safety factors required when using an atwell L refrigerant and could create a significant safety hazard. R32 has better efficiency and around 10% more capacity than R400 Tina, depending on the application and system design. 7. The charge amount of R32 refrigerant is about 20% less compared with R400 Tina. 8. R32 is a relatively inexpensive single component refrigerant, which means it is easier to recycle. 9. Due to the high discharge temperatures of R32, the operating range of those with R32 is more limited. 11. Manufacturers have selected R32 for their scroll compressor chillers because of its lower impact on the environment. If you refer to R454B as a direct replacement for R400 Tina in new equipment, R32 has the advantage of being a single component gas, has no slip, and has price and availability advantages over its rivals. 13. R32 refrigerant is easier to handle and recover than other alternatives such as R454B or R452D. In addition, since R32 has no slip, it is not necessary to vacuum the system before each charge, due to partial leakage. 15. The R32 is likely to remain cheaper than its competitors. 16. Apart from this, the fact that there is no patent on R32 guarantees access and availability through many refrigerant suppliers. Before we finish, we must answer two typical questions. Question 1. Is R32 refrigerant easy to ignite? R32 refrigerant is actually difficult to ignite and requires certain conditions to be met. A there would have to be a significant refrigerant leak. B. Leakage should be sufficient to reach the lower flammable limit concentration. C. There would have to be an open flame or high energy ignition source, where the concentration is sufficient to ignite R32. Question 2. Is the R32 ignited by static sparks? Not really, as R32 must be exposed to an open flame or high energy source to ignite. However, this is not all we need to know. There is something very important, and that many omit. I'm talking about the discharge temperature, which has the refrigerant R32. Let us remember that the compressor discharge temperature is the most critical in the refrigeration cycle, as it is the highest temperature in the system, 
and it must always be within the ranges that the equipment compressor and its lubricating oil admit. This value is higher than the condenser temperature, because the R32 refrigerant is in a state of superheated vapor. If a compressor works with discharge temperatures higher than what it was designed for, it will quickly break down. Also remember that the viscosity of the oil refers to the resistance that this liquid has to flow or deform. If the temperature increases to inappropriate values, the viscosity decreases. This causes the oil to not stay at the points where it should be to achieve lubrication. Now let's look at the graph. Let's look at the discharge temperature of R400 Tina and compare it with that of R32. We can see that the discharge temperature of R32, in this example, exceeds that of R400 Tina by 16 degrees Celsius, and in reality this happens very frequently. From this we can conclude that if we upgrade a piece of equipment that is working with R400 Tina refrigerant, now adding R32 refrigerant, the compressor will have higher discharge temperatures, which will significantly shorten the useful life of the compressor and the equipment specially designed for R32 refrigerant. This problem of high discharge temperature is faced, either with cooling strategies or with different oil viscosities, so that the compressor does not have inconveniences. We see that one of the reasons why some technicians decide to replace R400 Tino with R32 is the lower cost that the latter has. However, this is not justified if in the end the compressor or the equipment is going to be affected. In conclusion, neither for safety nor for the damage that will be caused to the equipment, we must replace the R400 Tina refrigerant with R32. Remember that in the part of the description, there are the links to find additional information.